Infinity Cloud RO came out on top in our updated Undersink RO comparison video featuring 11 different systems. So we figured it deserves its own in-depth review where we'll go through all product aspects, including our lab results on contaminant reduction. And plus, I'll explain why the Cloud RO did not make our top recommendations in our first Undersink RO comparison. Hi, I'm Sarah with BOS Water, and in today's video, we're reviewing the Cloud RO, which is a tank-based reverse osmosis system that goes under the sink. Now, most importantly, the Cloud earned the highest overall rating in our updated comparison of 11 of the most popular and most effective under sink reverse osmosis systems, making it our top pick. As such, I want to go through all our test results and findings for the Cloud today. Now, as usual, our review includes professional and independent lab testing that we conducted to learn more more about the system's real-life contaminant reduction capabilities and potential leaching. And we also considered all other product aspects, such as NSF certifications, taste and odor of the filtered water, and overall usability, including initial setup, everyday use, and system maintenance. Besides that, we also conducted a dispensing speed test, a tank filling speed test, and plus we measured how much usable water we would get, and a wastewater test. And finally, we analyzed costs. Side note, you can find our full analysis of the cloud, including lab results, in addition to the 10 other Undersink ROs we've tested in this Google Sheet. So everything is fully transparent. Now, the sheet also contains our cloud product link and a $50 discount code. So don't forget in case you want to make a purchase and save a few bucks while supporting our work. And I'll add everything in the video description right down below. And in case you were wondering why there was a sponsored tag at the start of the video, Cloud has provided us with their system for free, but we paid for all of the lab testing ourselves, which is 100% independent. Speaking of lab testing, here is what we did. We installed the cloud on our tap water supply following the manual. We then took a sample of our unfiltered water and a filtered water sample. We sent both samples to a professional lab for analysis and studied the reports as they came back. Now this allowed us to compare the concentrations of all the different impurities and contaminants in our tap water before and then after filtration. Now that said, please always remember that such before and after lab testing isn't an exact science and you won't get 100% precision for several reasons. Also, we can only test for the contaminants that are actually present in our water and only at the concentrations they occur. And finally, we lab tested the cloud with its tank shut off to allow for better comparability between all the tank-based ROs that were part of our comparison. This means that everyday performance can differ slightly, but under sink ROs are quite complex anyway, and their general performance depends a lot on external conditions such as feed water quality and pressure and how you actually use a system. All right, now as you can see, the cloud could remove most undesirable impurities and potentially harmful contaminants to 100%. Chlorine for disinfection byproducts, copper, barium, strontium, and uranium. Now, boron was removed by 33%, so not perfect. For nitrate, reduction ranged from 72 to 99%. And for fluoride, it ranged from 80 to 99%. So traces of both nitrate and fluoride remained in the water, but it was so little that the lab couldn't quantify exactly how much was left. Now, this means that compared to the other undersink ROs we tested, the cloud did at least as good as any of them for reducing fluoride, while for nitrate, some other systems did a little better, achieving 100% reduction. Bottom line, the cloud did really well in our lab testing, but with some of the other systems doing a bit better for two analytes. Aside from contaminant reduction, it looks like the cloud might have leached a tiny bit of silver into our water. And we assume this comes from the remineralization cartridge, which integrates a silver-infused activated carbon block. Now, usually silver is used for its bacteriostatic properties in this context, and the level detected in our water was 0 0.01 ppm. That's 10 times below the strictest health guideline that we could find. So we're not worried about this. In addition, we saw an increase in zinc at 0 0.41 ppm and a tiny amount of manganese at 0 0.01 ppm. But both are trace minerals, and we assume they were purposely added by the cloud's remineralization stage. And based on health guidelines, this seems totally fine at the detected levels. Speaking of, the cloud uses remineralization to restore healthy minerals and balance water alkalinity. Now here, our lab data reflects the shortest possible contact time between water and remineralization media. Again, to keep our testing consistent across all RO systems. And so, for all six remineralization ROs, including the cloud, we didn't see 
a whole lot of minerals added into our water. But based on additional testing we performed using TDS meters, we found that mineral levels during everyday use are likely higher, especially after periods of system downtime. So when the system had more time to dissolve said mineral, but this only applies to the water actually inside the remineralization cartridge and in direct contact with the media. Now this is what the cartridge for the Cloud RO looks like. So the amount of minerals your water will contain in practice will depend a lot on how you're using the system. As such, if remineralizing RO water is a priority for you, we think that manually adding minerals back in is probably the most reliable method. But still built-in remineralization as featured by the Cloud RO also usually won't hurt. And that wraps up our lab results. Next, let's look at NSF certifications for contaminant reduction. Now, the cloud has one against standard 58 for TDS. Here, the performance data sheet lists a very high 98% removal rate. So this is very promising, although we would have liked additional certifications. Cloud says they're working on obtaining more, and plus they provide some of their own NSF test data, so no official certifications, that show very high removal rates for chlorine and chloramine, lead, VOCs, forever chemicals, chromium-6, nitrate, fluoride, and more. And finally, the cloud's taste and odor performance was top notch, which brings me to usability, which in our opinion is where the cloud really excels. The first thing we like is the sturdy, well-built feel across the board. And what's more, the system is very easy to install in Prime with extremely clear instructions. We also liked that everything was packaged in a clear way and all the tubing is labeled. So all in all, this was one of the most thoughtfully designed setups that we've worked with. And so here's what to expect. After cutting a hole in the countertop, place the faucet in the hole and reassemble the washer and nut under the countertop to secure. Then connect the faucet tube. Turn off your cold water line, disconnect it, then connect the T-valve that comes with the Cloud RO. Reconnect the supply line and connect the inlet tube. After drilling a hole in your drain pipe, install the drain clamp by screwing it in place. Connect the tank tube to the tank, place the tank under the sink, then install the base. Connect all of the tubing to the base and seat the magazine into the base. Place the unit in your cabinet. Turn on the cold water line, open the T-valve, then open the faucet to release air. Now it's time to flush the system. You need to fill and purge three full tanks of water before the system is ready for use. How about maintenance? Fast and easy thanks to the modular filters. Just pinch the inside of the holes on the lid for the filter module to remove. Then turn the filter counterclockwise and pull up to remove it. To replace with a new one, insert the filter and turn clockwise. Place the lid back on the unit and slide back into your cabinet. Everyday use? Straightforward. You just open the faucet and can dispense water at a relatively fast flow rate. In our speed test, it took the cloud six seconds to dispense one cup, which is around average among all tank-based ROs. Now just note that these six seconds apply to a full tank. And as you keep dispensing water and the tank empties, the faucet flow rate will go down. That said, we could dispense 2.2 gallons of usable water from a full cloud tank. So plenty, and again, pretty average among the tank-based ROs that we've tested. But it only took the cloud just over 23 minutes to completely fill, which was the fastest time by far. Last for usability, the Cloud RO app, the main reason why we didn't recommend the cloud in our first Undersync RO comparison video. So here's what happened. Cloud offers a free app available for both Android and iOS that you can use to monitor your unit via Bluetooth. Now setting this up, is really easy and the app feels very intuitive. And the main feature is the tracking of your water's TDS levels. So tap water TDS, filtered water TDS measured after the RO membrane and TDS of the remineralized water. In other words, you can monitor filtration and remineralization effectiveness. However, what we did not know back when we first tested the cloud is that these TDS readings are not live because the system only takes TDS readings when it opens its inlet valve and new water is being produced. Now, a cloud representative told us that most user systems take two to three daily TDS readings, which are then sent to the app, which displays a running average of the recent readings. But like I said, we weren't aware of this the first time we tested a cloud unit. And so when we compared the app's TDS readings to our lab reports and TDS meters, the numbers didn't match. And sometimes they didn't make much sense at all, which we now assume was likely due to the numerous tests we ran on the system. But at the time, our conclusion was that the sensor in our unit might be malfunctioning or that there's a problem with the app itself. And so we felt we couldn't recommend the cloud to our viewers. Well. Fast forward a few months, 
After learning that the app's TDS readings aren't live, we ran a second round of testing with a new cloud unit focused on normal everyday use. And we found that the running TDS averages shown in the app are actually pretty reliable so that you can use them for monitoring system performance. Problem solved. In addition, the app also tracks your water consumption and you can check your tank level and your battery status, among a few other things. And this is something we haven't mentioned yet. The cloud is battery powered, so you don't need a power supply nearby. The battery should last two plus years and you get a new one with each replacement filter set. Also, according to cloud, their app uses your water quality and consumption data to display filter status and determine the ideal time to replace filters. So this should be really useful. In the app, there's also this regional water quality report based on your zip code, which is basically a list of impurities that have been found in your water supply in the past and a projection for how the cloud can remove these. So not an essential feature in our opinion, but nice to have. Which leaves us with this pH tab saying alkaline and this mineral tab, which says five healthy minerals added. And in the extended view, there's this pie chart indicating the mineral ratios. Now note that these are estimates. There's no pH sensor and the cloud certainly can't measure actual mineral content added to your water. So don't get confused by this. But all in all, being able to monitor your RO system and water quality through an app like this feels really cool. Great. One final and important test we performed was a wastewater test. So like any RO system, the cloud wastes water during purifications, but we measured the lowest wastewater ratio among all the tank-based under sink models we've tested so far, roughly 0.56 gallons wasted per one gallon purified. Now, mind you, this was with the tank turned off in real world use and based on the performance data sheet, the cloud wastes around one gallon per one gallon purified. So still exceptionally efficient. For reference, a standard tank-based under sink RO wastes three to five gallons or more. And also the cloud's one-to-one -one ratio was the best that we could find among our 11 under sink RO systems checking all available performance data sheets. And according to cloud, this ratio is possible because their system combines a permeate pump with an electronic shutoff valve, allowing it to optimize for low wastewater, TDS reduction, and output pressure. Okay, anything else? Yes, we like the clean system design. The faucet is simple yet solid, and you can choose from four different finishes. And when you replace filters, you also get a return label for the cloud battery for easy recycling. Finally, costs. The cloud is currently available for $549 when you use our $50 code. Again, check the video description for details. $549 is on the higher end for a tank based under the sink RO, but we think it's a fair price considering what's being offered. Everything we've covered, plus a limited one-year warranty and a one-year satisfaction guarantee. As for filter replacements, Cloud says you get 12 months filter life under typical usage, which comes down to $200 annually. Now that's about average compared to the other systems we've tested, and it includes the battery. And that's it. So here's a quick summary. The Cloud came out on top in our undersink RO comparison. It achieved great results in our lab testing and is backed by one NSF certification against standard 58 for TDS reduction and additional NSF test data. Cloud says more certifications will follow. Remineralization is a bonus, but mineral content can vary widely depending on system usage and downtime. Taste and odor of the filtered water were perfect. The system is very easy to install, prime, use, and maintain with a fast faucet flow and the best wastewater ratio among all the tank-based RO units we tested. Plus, filtration is fast and provides plenty of water for everyday use. Everything looks and feels very high quality. The free app lets you monitor everything in detail. And while not a budget pick, both upfront and long-term costs seem reasonable. Okay, remember to check our Google Sheet for our full analysis of the cloud and 10 other under sync ROs. Also, check the sheet and the video description for our cloud product link and discount code in case you want to make a purchase. And as always, please drop any questions or filter requests in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.